very rare that Australia gets any kind of first look showcase with tech, but at Paxos this year, we actually got the first look at Intel's next gen desktop CPUs, codenamed Arrow Lake. Arrow Lake is made for the next gen era of gaming, but also gaming on AI PC. With more multi-threading performance, it enables you to multitask with minimal interruptions. I think that's super important. But the focus of gaming doesn't take away from Arrow Lake's ability to cater to creators, business, and industry people too. With the ability to dial in on productivity and time management across your tasks, this chip is architected for enthusiast performance. So Arrow Lake was scattered across the convention at vendors, including ROG, MSI, UMart and MSY, and Aftershock, so here's a quick little rundown of what we saw. So the question is, what is Arrow Lake? Arrow Lake is the next gen desktop CPUs from Intel with next gen improvements. At Paxos this year, Intel have actually included Arrow Lake CPUs in some of the builds around the vendors in the show, which is very, very cool. So this specific one here is from ROG. We do have some specs here, which I'll overlay on the screen, but the fact that it is even here and playable, it's very, very cool for Australia. And it's cool for consumers because there's a lot of people that can't go out and buy the latest and greatest thing. At least they can try it while they're here this weekend. It's obviously very hard to see the CPU because the cooler is on top, but this build is really nice. I love the all black case. I love the purple lighting. And just knowing that Arrow Lake is in there. I don't know, I think that's cool. From what was played, the experience was really smooth, but this also comes down to a combination of Arrow Lake and the rest of the parts in this build. But without any benchmarking and just getting hands-on told me enough that this runs incredibly well, especially paired with an RTX 4090, and for that price point, you would hope so. So now we're going to go to the MSI booth and I'll show you what they've got on display there. and they do have the new Z890 motherboard on display. If you're worried about storage in your builds, then the MSI Z890 motherboards are the way you want to go. With a minimum of four M.2 slots and a maximum of six, you can make your build your gaming and content creation hub with no issues. These boards require simple installation, so the most important parts of your PC build will come together in no time. It literally will take one finger to install parts. Now MSI do have a few different boards for different size builds and I'm very excited to see the Mini RTX version. So a big highlight of Arrow Lake is low power consumption. This means less heat coming from your build and that now allows for smaller builds because you can have a smaller cooler and I'm really intrigued by this especially because I did just buy my Fractal Terra case which is a Mini RTX and because I want to go smaller I still need power that is important but power in a smaller form factor it really feels like a win and I'm excited to see how this goes. This will obviously come into play with the new motherboards as well and seeing how small they can go for a small build. Gone are the days of having big PCs. You guys know that I have a massive tower. I just want small, compact and convenient. Like I said, I not long ago bought my case for my next build. This is the Fractal Terra. And although it is a long process to get this done, I did want to wait to see what all the new tech is going to be like because if I can future-proof this for a little longer, I would be really happy with that. I think this could be a little pocket rocket. I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> I'd most likely be looking at an Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, but as I am a mixed bag of what kind of games I play and when I play them, I do think this will be more than enough power for me. But what I am looking at doing over the next 12 months is learning a new editing software and that will be DaVinci Resolve. So spending time on that with the new Arrow Lake chip, I think would be a really good combo and something that will be super efficient. I'm expecting fast rendering times, fast imports of footage and no lag on the timeline. And I'm predicting that I'm going to receive what I'm expecting. So time will tell. I think the biggest takeaway for Arrow Lake is that it's better and faster performance that's going to fit for more categories of people and in more builds. It's obvious that there is a big focus on gaming and streaming, but AI PC is making waves for people with normal workflows and their productivity. Simplifying users' processes and productivity is very important, and that's kind of what I'm most excited about. It's important for people like me. So AI PC is the next big thing. And including an MPU that can help people work better in ways is really exciting. And I think I need that. I actually spend a lot of time with language modeled AIs to help me with scripting and planning my content and just getting the ideas out of my head onto paper. 
So I'm really looking forward to see how AI can take the next step for me with video editing or some form of content creation that goes beyond text. So I do think that having the power of Arrow Lake behind me can really help me achieve those goals. It's one thing to do creative work on a laptop, but having a powerful desktop behind you just takes it to the next level. Overall, there were a lot of cool builds at PAX Oz showcasing Arrow Lake. Although I'm happy with my little pocket rocket of a build, I do hope that these custom PCs have helped inspire PAX attendees to think outside of the box when it comes to designing their new build. But it is also important to think of what's inside the box when it comes to power and performance on powerful new motherboards setting users up for the future of PCs. Thank you so much to Intel for allowing me the opportunity to check out Arrow Lake at PAXOS 2024. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video because I'll see you then.